Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as the Bone Dancer. So, soon, we want to go to war with the Shishou Nation, but last time we took out the Timber Line, just for a few more factories. So right now, like I said, we're trying to go to war with the Shishou Nation. We want to embrace their bodies and have a good meal. That sounds really weird to say, but anyways, we want to go to war with them, we want to go to war with Kamult Station... Now, I did ask yesterday which path I should take. I am already pretty much geared towards one area, but it's either the Hail to the King for now, or Road Warriors of the 84. Now, if you go down the Road Warriors, you don't have a focus tree that's as large, really, as uh, the Road Kings or Road Warriors, even though you get a, a ton of cores. But Eastport, Cyclops Tribes, Troll War, Marrow Drinkers, a permanent quarter or 25% reduction in coring costs... That's really, really good. But, if you go down the other side, and you get 15% more recruitable population, maybe, you get extremely good, I've been told, extremely good Spec Ops divisions, or Special Forces units, battalions. And that sounds like a lot of fun, so I'm really, really inclined to go down that way. So, for us to do that, I definitely will need more manpower, so I want to get as much political power as possible so I can core states so that I can get more manpower. I'm going to try like that, but let's go ahead and do Hail to the King. Oh boy, the Bone Dancers play. To the tune of the Odysseus King, his music guiding the choreography of the conquests. It is time we listen to the music and accept our place in his song, a melody so grand. This is probably a terrible idea, but you know what, we're going to do it anyways. Alright, so how many divisions do they have? Are our divisions good enough to fight them? We have seven, they have seven, so really it's going to be the smarts that we might be able to use to kill the enemy off. We've got some demo companies, how strong are their divisions? Four to six, about ten combat width. And I'm joined here with my bone dancing kitty, Cat Binky. So if we want to attack, let's see, let's go ahead and just go to war with these guys. The faster we kill them off, the better, the faster, the more awesomer. Uh, could core some stuff. Probably not worth it. Let's see. We got two guys right here. Which means I'm going to attack right here. And Thieving Thorbert. You're a gun nut. Infantry tactic defense. This guy's definitely going to be an infantry guy for a while. Give him commando so he gets a little bit more attack. Uh, we should do, we should do okay. It's four divisions here. Oh! And another infantry division as well. Really want to emphasize spec ops. But I... Like I said, I might want to go with tanks, because tanks are really good, or even APCs. Maybe just APCs, because we have to, you know, make sure we have enough manpower. We don't have enough right now, even after we got 5% more recruitable population. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is going to be so bad. So, so bad. We get only 11 a month. Oof. Oh. Oh my goodness. Good. Kind of hang out for now. So we got three divisions here. What if we went this way? Can we still do just as well? You, we should be able to, and then you guys will come right there once they're done. Which will be good. I know, force attack sometimes isn't good. You take you can take a lot of damage while doing force attacks. You okay, Bink? Come on. Oh, maybe a little bit more manpower, perhaps? Or more attack? Expanding the gang. Division defense. Economic advisors. War industrialists. Binky. Major businesses, production. What are we building? Civilian factories. We only have five going right now. I kind of want to expel the rift because I want more stability. I want a lot of stability. Come on, this is the cheapest, best way we can possibly attack for right now. Immediately move that way. Immediately start attacking them so they stop moving. So we can get this guy over there as fast as possible. It's also going to be imperative that we get some planes as well, because planes are really good. Scorpions declare war Mojave Raiders. We can defend it well enough, and we need some camp companies. Camp companies are going to be extremely crucial for our campaign here. We're getting attacked, so be it. It doesn't really matter. Ah, an enthralling melody! The Odysseus King raised his hand and his acolytes listened. It was time to move on to, or into, action. The Odysseus King spoke with a strange cadence, as if fate had directed him to move only 
now in this moment. His son was healed or headed by the crimson acolytes through the lands of the bone dancers, their robed figures danced forth, echoing the enchanting, enthralling melody of their prophet, their messiah and king. No, he is not vicious, nor is he in the least demented. His mind is a wonder chamber from which he can extract treasures that you and I would give years of our life to acquire. The pallid mask of fate has gripped the bone dancers. The world will weep when it remembers the truth it has forgotten. The truth of the true master whom emperors served. Beautiful. Yeah, more political power. Uh, special forces minimum capacity multiplier. Sounds good. Remove Seraph Pilgrims, which hurts our stability. Uh, we can do the Blood Cult, so we get a little bit more recovery rate and population for now. Cannibalism isn't an issue. No, it is just the rapid use of it. We need to refine cannibalism and perfect it. Rivers of Blood. Huh. Interesting. Could I raise my conscription to raider bands? That actually hurts my organization by 8%. 2% more population. Hurts my supply consumption. Hurts my stability. But let's us go to war a little bit faster. Um, you know what? Outside volunteers. No outsiders is definitely what we don't want. We want outsider battalions. I definitely want outsider battalions to get even more non-core manpower. That's going to be very, very important. Uh, settlement builder. Civilian. Uh, that's okay. Training time. Yeah, my cat really likes meowing. Uh, major businesses. For now, just go ahead and do... Oh boy, what do we want? What do we want? Demo. Just free mason fixers. Build stuff up a little bit faster. Good, let them starve. Cause us casualties by having more people attack at the same time. Good stuff, good stuff. There's a couple divisions here. Brotherhood declare war in part mall. So be it, that's fine. We should be able to hold clay working. Awesome. Get some more output because we could really use that for right now, especially for spec ops equipment, which is good. You guys come around here, help attack. You're getting attacked over there, which isn't ideal. Uh, actually, stop the attack, help them down there. Kill them off right now. Good. Good. Lost 36 versus 261 resistors. I love it. Uh, I'm going to immediately go ahead and go for med companies. That's going to be so important to do. Honestly, I kind of want the followers of the Apocalypse right now, just because I know I need more monthly population, and I'll take whatever I can get from them. This game is going to require a ton of political power to four states. He is a funny kitty. Oh. Alright, good. We've done really well. We've lost 42 versus 880. Very nice. Ah, oh, white likes split war. Peacekeepers, let's let's see. Ah, oh, the blood cult. Good. You know what? I could. I don't know if it's really worth going down here right now, because we lose our recruitable population that we just get back. Leftovers from the raiders. Weekly manpower plus seven. That's just barely anything. Grabbing takeout. It sounds like fun. But let's go ahead and do this just in case. So we have never had a great relationship with the traders of Kimmel Station. They fired their large artillery at us whenever we try to approach. Let's prove to them that we aren't a group that they can ignore. And let's make sure that we have enough divisions. Uh, add one more there. Bone Shakers, you're 18 combat width, which isn't bad. You got plenty of demo equipment. Uh, I might consider throwing on one more. Helps with your breakthrough. Yeah, we don't have a lot of divisions for that, but whatever. Can I just send... Uh, who can I attack? Can I send three... All three of you guys attack the mountain home AFB, probably. We can do really well there. Come on, give me more force attack. And then you guys will come that way as well. Good. And they're not going to capitulate yet. So be it. So be it. Go ahead and do them dirty. Uh, we could get Dickens, but whatever. Come on. Good. Go there. Go there. Good, good, good. Let these guys attack at the same time and do well. Force the attack. Go faster, go faster. Come on. And they should be gone. Well, actually. Oh, uh, we have. Just go and do a general attack. At this point, they can't really do much against us. So. We'll, we've lost less than 50 guys in this war, which is pretty good compared to their 1,000. Um, oh, Life Giver. I really want Life Giver, but he's a Field Marshal, so it won't really matter. Max Planning. Recovery Rate. Out of Supply. More Defense, more Attack, Infantry Attack Defense. 
Let's go with melee actor. I want as much attack as possible and as much good attack as possible. Out of supply. Get uh, the negotiator. Nah, let's do recovery rate. Smooth talking. Okay, let's do the negotiator too. Lots of planning is always kind of okay. Uh, you guys could actually probably do this. If you really wanted to be smart about it, you do that, that, and then you guys come down there. Ah, no answers from the station. Good. Next up, lessons from the cathedral. With the bone dancers swearing a fealty, now is the time for the first act of the play. Memories flood through the mind of the king. Memories of a life once lost. Good. And even better. Oh, another spec ops division. Awesome. Now, I'm going to stop making these. Because we, I want to make these even better than what they currently are. So, that'd be good. That'd be great. You guys do that. Take them out. So, that'll be awesome. Just come to Dick Shooter. Just take Dick Shooter. And we are almost there. We did it. We got Dick Shooter. Yay. Now, I'm not going to go to war with Kimmel Station immediately. I will very soon, but not yet. I want at least two more divisions because we only have nine versus their, what, 13 perhaps. That's a lot of enemies to fight it for me. That's a lot. Uh, just five war goals times. Actually, what is our production like, or construction? I mean, construction, where are you? There you are. Not, not, not too bad. That's actually really good. Stability for the people. Scavenging programs, seize raider arms, nothing will give you more population. Where is the followers of the apocalypse? My goodness, where are they? Uh, do that, more civilian stuff. Actually, I should just save my political power to just core states. Ooh, but that's actually cores for us already, nice. Oh, we're still mobilizing a little bit more. Good. Now, they have a lot of divisions. This, this could turn into a giant mess. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy these guys right now. I want these guys out, so I can deploy them. Uh, good. Deploy them, get them situated so I can instantly start attacking and moving into their territories. We have a claim on their territories, which is good. I don't think we have a claim on these guys. Troll War is going to be a big old problem for us, though. Ah, there they are. Followers of the Apocalypse. I read this every time. I'm not going to read it this time, so let them come. Do best to keep these anarchists from our lands. I want them in so we can get just a little bit more recruitable population every month. Go ahead and escort them. It costs us 10 manpower. Uh, actually... No, we have enough scrap. I don't mind doing this. Grant the followers bases. Every man is important. So, now we will do the Shoshone Legacy to get cores on Dick Shooter and Dickens. With the Shoshone dealt, we have learned a great many things from the prisoners of war we've kept. Tales and myths dating back hundreds and hundreds of years. And we are good to go. So, we need you guys down here. We need you to move you around here. And... There's no way for me to really see what they're doing. What, what are they going to be up to? They're going to try to move from here. That's fine. This side will have to hold as hard as it can. We're going to move in from the south here. I want to attack this tile. Attack that way. If they want to keep moving, that's fine with me. Take Bly. Good. If you can, just go straight to Kamult Station. Just encircle all these guys. That'd be awesome if we could do that. Oh, look at that. You come down here. We're going to encircle this division in Rome March. Now, we got encircled ourselves. Go ahead and keep them busy. That'd be good. Alright, well, we're going to win over here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Field fortifications, more defense, more organization. Let's get coordinated assault for 10% more breakthrough. Love the breakthrough. Oh, god dang it. I wanted to encircle them. Whatever. Oh. Just walk right into the capital. Do that. Help them out. Keep going. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, stop, 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 stop. What the fuck? Ah, come on. Stop attacking when I tell you to stop. My boy, why you do this to me? Go to link up with them. See if you can do something like that. Link up, link up, take the capital. They are almost capitulated. Come on. Take Axel Badlands. Awesome. They're done. Yay. Easy. Go straight for the victory points. Next up, we got that. That is, or this stuff, which is good. Output is going very well. Monthly population. Now how do I attack? I could consider the marrow drinkers. I don't want to ex overextend myself, though. That's a big thing. I really don't want to over overextend myself. Artillery, cores. The holy flame. 
Preservation through pain. Dreams of unity. Strength of the mind. Ancient traditions. Schools of higher thought. Reality is infinite. Ooh, more manpower. A little bit more. Cores, all states owned by the Timberline. Nullification training. Mentats. Crossing through the steam. Claims in a war goal against High Chapel. Heaven's Gate. Twin Peaks. Where's that? Oh, that's all. Oh, goodness. It's up there. I want to say I want to go to war with High Chapel. Just because I want to get it over with so that I can take out Heaven's Gate. So that I don't, I have a little back corner that I can rely on that I will never get attacked from. The way to do this though is to bait them into attacking my lands, and then cutting them off. That would probably be the best thing I could do. Where do I attack these guys? Lucifer's own. That militia division is pretty darn bad. What? How long would it take for me to go to war with these guys? Because I know we get. Oh, High Chapels is guaranteeing. Oh, who cares about that? 190 days. I might be able to do that. I could bait them into attacking my own lands. Hmm. I'll take it the followers. That's fine. Yeah. Bait them into here. Let them take a little bit of territory. Let them come in and then attack their backs. Cut them off. Destroy them. Eat them up. That's a plan. I really want to take these guys out before anyone else. It's going to take a while. We're going to need more divisions anyways. Which is fine. Should show legacy. Great. More manpower. Because we have less than a thousand right now. Uh, the Holy Flame. More stability. But more fa max factories in the state. Preservation. Pl pain. Through pain. Technocracy. Not bad. Mountain Home Air Force Base. Gain core. I like the cores. They're great. But... Uh, I get more infantry equipment. That's kind of nice. Great artillery. Taking... Grabbing takeout. Friends in high places sounds like fun. Doesn't seem like that ne that necessary though. Deal with the pilgrims. One oh, let's get another geck. That sounds like fun. Oh, dreams of unity though. Ooh, some more stability. Preservation through pain. Once a new initiate, struggling with a broken mind after a failed trial, was given words of advice by a kindly figure. The figure spoke of how the initiate needed guidance on a moral and productive path. Moral progress could be achieved through pain, the most instructive force in the universe. The faithful were to be broken and then remade into tools of unity's will. Enduring pain purified the mind and prevented decadence and ease, fostering evolution necessary for survival in the harsh wasteland. Those who succumbed to pain and expire were a necessary sacrifice. Good. Uh, we need more. We need some more of this. So, if that's the case, you do that. You come down here. We need more demo equipment. But I definitely need some support equipment so I can get some chem companies on our guys. Uh, let's see. What are we doing down here? Good. Build that up to the top. That'll be very good. 22 factories. Not a ton, but, you know, it's some. Ah, uh, local workspaces. More output. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, cap. Let's do the cap next. We only have three research slots, which is a little garbo, but whatever. If they're going to attack me, I want them to come into here. I want to give them enough space... That they can come to the front line here. And I might be able to push myself into there. Now we want to get planes. Don't forget planes. Planes, planes. They're expensive, but they're useful. They're very, very useful. Timekeepers. We don't need more caps. I'm going to get 48 a month. That's pretty good. Demo equipment's going to be a problem. Spec op stuff is okay. Come down here. Uh, Honestly, Bone Shakers, you're 20 combat with. That's actually really, really good so far. The opposite territory is clear. Warn them. I'm just going to go ahead and put them on there. That's good. Uh, Psychers. Throw in some more demos of these guys. Preservation through pain. Get more stability so we get more political power so we can raise our conscription. The Holy Flame. Once a sca scared man nearly broke a th as a thousand voices traveled through his mind. The father of the cult spoke to him to ease his worries. He spoke of the wickedness of the world and how in the past the wicked of the world were struck by the Holy Flame and divine judgment. The human spirit is flawed and the world is doomed to cycles of wickedness and judgment. It is only through the Holy Flame that humanity can escape the cycle and achieve what it was always owed. Ooh. More max factories, which is always good. Change the popularity of technocracy. We're definitely becoming technocracy. Oh. Now that's kind of... Oh. Big brain. Oh. Oh, weekly war support goes down. More research speed. Uh, are they... Oh, they're still establishing themselves. Whatever, that's fine. Scavenger program isn't worth it. Focus on the internal sphere. Uh, use civilian factories. I need to build myself up a little bit more before I do that. Fall of Vault City. Great. For Festus, everything is important. 
Yakuza territories are looking pretty good. They actually might become very, very strong if we don't control them. Oh, there they go. There they go. So this is how we're going to bait them in. Bait them in to take Mountain Home AFB. Cut them off. Kill them all off. That's a plan. They don't have demo equipment on their guys, which is fine. Divert the equipment. I don't want to lose my stability. Gun-wise, we're not making that much for me to sell guns. We'll, we'll be okay. Demo equipment's okay. Yeah. 20 combat width, not bad. Ah, the Holy Flame. Even more stability. And the Paradox of Peace. Once a young wastelander listened to the preaching words of a robed philosopher, the capstone of the philosophy she preached was something else. She regarded as a paradox of peace. No struggle comes without a price, and the greatest struggle inevitably enacts the greatest cost. This struggle was an obligation to yourself and your children, an obligation to improve your life. Abdicating what that was that responsibility, citing the sorry state of the world, was cowardice. Even more max factories. We can build, build, build. Tons and tons and tons of building. And coring. We need to core a lot. So, I'm not going to core any of this just because we get cores over there eventually. Camelot Station, we get a core eventually anyway, so that's okay. I would probably want to get Nicaea to core High Chapel. That's probably important, because they actually have an okay-ish amount of manpower there. Uh, can I use this now to get anything else that's important? Economic Advisors. Ah, Plant Cultivation, that's good stuff. That's some really good stuff. Non-core manpower could be really good, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Demo, power armor, stability is always nice. Outpost, infrastructure. Let's grab the first plane, because that's going to be important. That's going to be incredibly important to do. Uh, what do we want? Scavenging program. We have too much stability to raise our stability. Unfortunate, I know. We get how much? 1.22 a day? That's not bad. Justify war ghost times. I kind of like that. Let's go do that. So for any other nation like Heaven's Gate, when we want to go to war with them, that'll be okay. Ah, we got ah, we got a lot of naval XP. Nice. Very nice. We're about to get paid soon. Good. Come on, hurry up. Establish your base here. You guys have about up to 14 divisions. The Paradox of Peace. Dreams of Unity. Once a dreamer was presented to the second Holy Flame, the flame rejected the dreamer, deeming that it was not their time. The dreamer would have their age, but not today. The dreamer was exiled, their visions clouding their body, and radiation would turning their skin hard like pitch. Oh, there's more manpower down there. It's thriving the wastes. Yeah, that's, this is going to be a little difficult. We have 11 divisions, which is good. And our divisions are definitely better, probably, than each, every individual division that High Chapel has. But it's good to be prepared. So how much longer do we have to wait? How much? They don't have a lot of manpower. We don't have a lot of manpower. They've got quite a few divisions. If they don't, they have so little manpower. It's probably not even worth puppeting them. Yeah. Oh, they have their nomadic lifestyle. Gives them more weekly manpower. All right. Exhortation to Saint Arthur. Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that from those guys down there. Sullied waters and the followers establish themselves. I'm not going to even read that just because that happens every game. And immediately help settlements. So I get more monthly population, which is almost nothing, 14. And then uh, I get a civilian factory out of it, which is actually pretty useful. Peace with Westerners. Okay, so this is important. Recently, a large deal of conflict has been occurring near our western border. Those loyal to Cranium aren't too threatened by this. Both the Heaven's Gate pilgrims on the coast and the Crimson Acolytes in their desolate temples feel that these invaders pose a threat to our hegemony. 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 We can if we wish to prevent an invasion from across the Ben Valley in the next several years and gives us to give a series of gifts and try to broker a peace deal. If we do, however, then it may be hard for Cranium to hold off the Bone Dancers as people start to lose faith in him. Well, Cranium isn't here anymore. It's the Odysseus King. That being said, I don't want a treaty. Oh, we get more attack. I like that. Fear them? They're, 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 they're kind of big. They're a lot more powerful than we are right now. Give me time and I can build myself up a little more. Let's have them. They accept a peace. Losing on some of our resources will be rough, but this will allow us to direct our attention to different areas. That is our responsibility as a nation. Now we can focus our efforts in the right direction. We lose, we get stability. non aggression pact. We lose all the manpower we have. We lose a bunch of scrap. Holy cow. Oh, wow. That That's... Yeah, that, that, was, that hurt us. That definitely hurt us. Holy crud. Uh, but we still get... It wasn't too bad. It wasn't. It could be much worse. We still have plenty of scrap. We got plenty of population. We'll be okay. Dreams of unity. Good. Pillars of Rome. Some of this will be important to do later on. I'll do it a little later though. Strength of the mind. Schools of higher thought. 
Special Forces Doctrine Ancient Tradition Song Like Fun. Some have trouble focusing their melody. Some find that using talismans can allow for the focusing of the mind. Good. Good, good, good. And we get about 1.09 political power a day. That's okay. NCR declared war on the Veil Bandits. That's fine. How much longer until we go to war with these guys? About 70... Less than 70 days. Good. Basic tools. Awesome. Awesome. Get more construction speed so we can build stuff up even faster because we definitely need a bigger industry. Holy cow. And if we take these guys out, how many factories do we get? Six? Nine. That's actually pretty good. Six, nine? Hmm. One of our favorite numbers. Arroyo looks good. Klamath is gone. <sighs> the White Legs. 80s are all on fire. Killing people off. NCR is being violent again like normal. Ah, coordinated assault. More breakthrough. Good. Trooper warfare. More defense. More entrenchment speed. Awesome. Good. Followers aid. Actually, do I need some support equipment? I could use some support equipment, actually. It's only 10 political power, too. Technology. More research speed could be really, really good. Building slot. More water. We don't really need that right now, though. Yeah, that'd be good. Ancient traditions. We gotta raise our core population up somehow. I mean, I, I can core stuff still, but that doesn't really matter too much to me at the moment. Heaven's Gate attack against country. I definitely want to kill them off. When are we going to get our next divisions? We need more support equipment, obviously. Oh, wait. I want you up here. There you go. There you go. Uh, ancient Traditions, which we which is somewhere. An audience for the melody. Our chorus is... Oh, wait. Hold on. Do we want this down here? Oh, let's do this. Strength of the mind. We can dream, we can sing the melody so enchanting, yet we are alone, this cannot be. We must build a chorus. When our song is loud enough, we will shatter the sky and bring the third flame. More special forces. I love it. Good. Amazing. Awesome. Scavenging program, like I said, it's not really worth it for us. A few more, in just a few weeks, we'll get enough support equipment so we can attach more things to our guys. But we have enough demo equipment and infantry equipment, so I might consider making 40 combat with divisions early on. Already. But our spec ops... Actually, hold on. How strong is everyone? Spec ops on the right. Normal infantry on the left. Uh, they're about half the soft attack. Pretty much half the stats, it seems like. They have a little bit of armor, of course. Supply use, way less, of course. They have way more organization, less HP, way more speed, better recovery rate, and 5 per suppression versus 8. Hmm. Let's go and throw on these guys. Chem companies as well, that'll be important. And I would love to throw on another one of these guys, which I can. Now, it's not optimal having 12 combat with, or even 14, and I'm out of army XP, but just make them stronger. As strong as possible for now. I know, we're running out of manpower, I know, I know, I know. That's not good. Where are the spec ops? Are you... Hey, where are you guys? Oh, you're part of the line. You're just part of the, the general line. We're going to need some airplanes, too. As long as they don't try to navally invade me, we should be okay. Should be. Awesome. Strength of the mind. Another division. Glorious. Mentat Stimulants. With one hand, we hold the keys. With keys, we can unlock the doors of the mine. Evolution has locked to us to become better and stronger than we have ever have been before. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end our episode right there. I need to leave. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we go to war with High Chapel and potentially Heaven's Gate. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.